Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial episode. Silent Night here, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a quarry. Um, quarries come from Buildcraft mod, if you don't know that. Uh, but yeah, quarries are pretty awesome. If you don't know what they do, they allow you to go figure, quarry out a section of land. Um, they go fa uh, they go faster, or slower depending on how much red or how much uh, MJ power you give them, and more or less they just quarry out and yada 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 so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to set one up I'm gonna grab one of these quick so first of all you need to set the um, you set the frame for the quarry so it knows what area am I gonna drill out so you can do that by setting a landmark you need to use the landmarks to set the, the frame of the quarry and uh, to do so you gotta set like say landmarks like this this and this so you have the first point which is here and then how far to the go to the the north and how far to go to the west or how far to go north south how far to go east west and then there you go. See how there's a box form? Boom, boom, boom. So we're going to go ahead and break those, though, because that's not what I want. Let's go ahead and break these. We'll go ahead and set up a the max size quarry. Uh, the max size you can set up is a 64 by 64. And you can find that out by placing a redstone torch on one of these landmarks. And it'll show you exactly how far in each direction you can make these landmarks. We're going to go ahead and set these landmarks up. This is, the max you can distance is 64 by 64. Sorry about that. Had to sneeze. All right, so this is 64 right here. Sorry, had another sneeze. That's 64. But I don't like doing max 64 because for some reason sometimes the quarries don't like to register the 64, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to sit there and redo it, and it's it's a pain in the butt. So I usually do 62 by 62. So that's 64, 63, 62. So we're gonna go ahead and do 62. Then right click the landmark to connect the line to the other landmark that's been currently placed to help start forming the box. Then we're gonna go over to the north and we'll go ahead and run all the way over here. And we'll place another landmark down at 62. Click that. And now you can see we have uh, a half of the frame box set. Now you probably don't even need to click those two. I just like to click them for my own sake. Uh, and then we can go over here and click the final middle one. And it should form us the whole box that we need for the quarry. Sometimes it doesn't like to form the whole box, and that's alright. Uh, we can go ahead and break this torch. Now we have the box. You don't need to put a height measurement for a quarry. You would for a filler, but not for a quarry. You want to remove the redstone torch before placing the quarry. Now that you have this box formed, we're going to go ahead and place down a quarry next to the landmark. And it should utilize that landmark box sex, uh, selection location to set up the frame. As you can see here, it did use it to set up the frame in the box that we set up. Uh, it does drop the landmarks as soon as you drop the quarry. And the quarry is ready to start running as soon as it hits. Now you need to power the quarry. The quarry needs to be powered with uh, with MJs. MJs are the buildcraft power. Uh, any buildcraft power, anything that produces MJs will start powering. Now you can see here, I placed a redstone energy cell so now it has quarries. And you don't mind the flashing. The flashing is just part of the um, it's part of the quarry. The quarry likes to glitch out a lot lately and be all flashy. So the screen's going to flash a little bit. Um, if we place the redstone energy cell, and it'll start filling the quarry. Now you can see here the quarry is actually setting up the quarry's frame, the actual frame of the quarry, because it has no terrain to clear out. We see this little floating box here. Normally this little floating box will take care of any hills, blocks, debris, trees, or anything else that might be currently in the way of the frame, from the top of the frame to the bottom of the frame. So it'll, it'll first take all the time it needs to clear out all the dirt. Like So if I were to put like some blocks in here. The quarry should come back and clear them out. I'd only imagine it's going to go through the frame, yada, yada, yada. But before it starts drilling, it should go back and clear out those blocks to make sure it's all flat. It may not, it may, may not. It just depends on the logic of the quarry. But either way, it's going to start building the frame. Once the frame finishes, the drill will actually start. And the drill will go, like I said, slower, faster, dependent on how much MJs you give it. Now, the max MJs that are allowed in a quarry is, is differs between, you know, who you ask or where you look. Uh, it used to be 12 MJs per tick. Now, it went, then it went up to 50. Some say it went up to 100. So, between 50 and 100 MJs uh, is about the max of the quarry. You can see here, it's starting to slow down as it's starting to finish. Uh, making the quarry, it's starting to slow down. And all of a sudden, you can see now the drill's coming out. The drill will then start drilling. Now, we're going to have a problem, though, as soon as this drill starts going. Ah, so the drill is going to take care of the apparent blocks. Normally, the laser would do so, but apparently it didn't recheck the terrain until after the drill was out. Um, there's a visual bug that should be on a rail. You can see the rails. Um, all right, so it's going to go ahead, and then all of a sudden, we'll start drilling. We're going to watch it start drilling. But we're going to have a problem. When it starts drilling, 
the items are going to be doing this. The items are going to be shooting out of the quarry box because the items have no idea where to go. Let's turn on magnum mode to clean this up real easy. You see here, all of a sudden, now everything the quarry is drilling is shot out of the quarry. It has no idea where to put them. Uh, you need to capture these items. And you can either do that, well, you can do that with any kind of, um, anything like a lamp, or you can do that with like a, um, my favorite is usually, this is my favorite setup. I like to power the quarry with a energy tesseract on the bottom, and I use an item tesseract on the top, setting a frequency to manage it and send it back to my base wirelessly. You can also, however, just throw a ender chest, and my mouse is not cooperating today. Uh, throwing an ender chest on top, you, if we open up the ender chest here, you'll see that uh, everything now is going to be collected directly into the, the chest, as the quarry does auto-throw. Uh, so if we were to grab some golden pipes, per se, golden pipe, uh, pipes also, oh, gold, maybe there's gold pipes. Pipe. Uh, force transport, golden transport, here we go. Golden transport pipe, if we were to grab some pipes, uh, any source of, like, uh, item inventory will work. So if I break that, all of a sudden you'll see that the, the items will start flying out. So say you want to pipe it out to a chest, or something like that, or you can put the chest on top, or you can put a tesseract, doesn't matter. Um, but any, any source of uh, build craft or any way of moving an item out, it'll automatically find that side and eject to that spot. So that's how you get your items out, that's how you pile the quarry, that's how you set up the quarry. And you see here the quarry is going along, it's happy as can be, just drilling, drilling, drilling. Uh, nothing too special, it's actually going pretty quick. Uh, fairly quick, I'd say about 6-7 blocks a second. Pretty good, actually. So that will pretty much drill all the way down to bedrock. Uh, one thing to note is when you're drilling on a, with a quarry, one thing to watch out is uh, if it does hit lava, the drill will stop immediately. So it's always a good a piece of advice to like put a block of water source like right here. Uh, so the water will flow with the quarry, um, filling up and dropping all the water. Uh, it'll drop water with the quarry as it descends, and it's really convenient. Uh, and then when you're done, you can literally just place a block back to destroy the water block and it should remove all the water that was in the quarry unless there was water in there like a water lake or whatever might down be down there but that's pretty much it that's uh that's pretty much how you would set up a quarry how you run a quarry um some tips and tricks and you know how to get this going and how to power it and how to collect items so i hope you guys learned a little something about quarrying today um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned a little something and until the next uh, episode i'll you guys take her easy